Now, with a worldwide ageing population, dementia is fast becoming a major public health issue. The Israel National Dementia Programme has created its own strategic plan to enable people with dementia and their families to live as full, independent and dignified lives as possible. Louis Vaughan Jones has this report from Haifa, Israel. Dementia presents challenges to individuals, families, healthcare systems and countries right across the world. Here in Israel, the National Dementia Programme was created to make real changes. A broad range of easily accessible, high quality services so people with dementia can lead fuller, more independent and more dignified lives. Dr Shelley Sternberg is in charge of the Israel National Dementia Plan to address Alzheimer's disease and other dementias under the leadership of the Israel Ministry of Health. The big advantage of having a national program is we have an overall view of how we're going to follow this person with dementia and his family across the whole system. Collaboration is crucial. We're collaborating with ESHA, with the National Insurance Institute, with the Ministry of Welfare, with all the health care funds, with the hospitals, with the Alzheimer's Association. That brings funding, enthusiasm, focus, a holistic viewpoint. To see some examples of how this collaboration is working, we've come to the Rambam Medical Center in Haifa. In the trauma department, a new project means when patients arrive, they aren't just assessed physically, but mentally too. This innovative scheme works alongside the established HELP program imported from America, which uses volunteers to help patients orientate, get enough food and water, and keep mobile. We believe that this approach will shorten hospitalization We'll have much less delirium and confusional uh, changes in the hospital. There is growing evidence of the link between dementia and diabetes. This has led to a brand new project here in Israel, thanks to the National Dementia Program, working in partnership with the Joint Distribution Committee Israel Eshel. Some primary care nurses are being trained in proactive cognitive screening so they can apply it to their diabetes patients. We identified a lot of patients who has undiagnosed cognitive problem. We found that patient with cognitive problem, actually their diabetes care are suboptimal. This new project showed that diabetes patients living with some form of dementia were five times more likely to be hospitalized. It's very important information because we can make the personalized intervention for every patient. Away from hospitals and primary care settings, the Israel National Dementia Programme, under the leadership of the Israel Ministry of Health, is also focused on raising awareness across the many different communities in the country. כשהיינו למעשה אמורים להתאים אותם לקהל הישראלי. כשאנחנו מדברים על הקהל הישראלי, מעבר לנושא שאנחנו ישראלים, יש הרבה מאוד מגזרים. נוזה, אני רוצה לראות לך משהו שעשו היום במחלקת שושי נפש. וואו! ריקאט סף עובדת עם אנשים שחיים עם דמנציה בבית הסנטר של אנשים בבית הסנטר. She is one of 6,000 people who has been trained as a dementia friend and is now an ambassador who trains others. After the training, I started to understand that The Israel Dementia Program, in partnership with Eshel, is about putting the person living with dementia and their family at the heart of everything that happens. This is really about how do we maintain their independence, improve their quality of life, decrease the stress of their caregivers and keep them in the community as long as possible. There's a buzz now about what is dementia, what can we do, how can we make care better and we're hoping just to do more and more.